exclusive interview na mrembo mpya kwenye kiwanda cha burudani by the way na hiyo ni kutokana na sasa hivi kuonekana kwa wingi zaidi anaitwa Candy Boo mambo waza kwako kama kawa madawa karibu sana kwenye studio za Sammy Sago thank you so much wapendeza sana <coughs> sante okay yeah. uh, umejitengenezea umaarufu mkubwa sana sasa hivi kutokana na kazi yako hususan ngoma hii mpya ya uh, amini ngoma hii ya harmonize pamoja na country boy fa mm. imekuleta kwa ukubwa zaidi mm. watu watakufahamu zaidi Candy Boo ni nani um Candy Boo <laughs> <laughs> Candy Boo ni mwanamitindo Candy yeah. Boo ni um Jesamai anaanza mm. uh, Candy Boo ni ni, ni muhitimu wa chuo okay Candy Boo ni uh, anapenda kuigiza. Candy Boo ni ana vitu vingi sana. <laughs> yeah. Ni umezaliwa wapi? Nimezaliwa Bukoba, Kagera. Ame yeah. haya, mimi ni Mohaya. Mm. Yeah. Okay, so baba na mama wote ni wa haya. Yeah. Ah, okay, nice. Pia shule umesomea kule? Um, nimesoma shule nimekuwa tofauti tofauti. Mm. Nimesomea uh, kwanza chekechea mpaka tatu. Mm. Nimesomea nyumbani mm. and then nikaenda kusomea Lindi mm. and then nikaenda msoma I mean uh, Mwanza and then mm. msoma and then yani vitu ni vingi. Kwa hiyo tunajua changamoto za kutafuta elimu bora wewe. Alikuwa mkorofa. No, sio sio kwamba alikuwa na <laughs> na hama yani no <laughs> ni yani ni kwamba <laughs> Sio kwamba baba mikorofi yangu nimenifanya na mama shule no mm. ni kazi kazi ya baba alikuwa anamshamisha kwa kiamishwa na hivi ningasomea alipo kwa hivyo yeah, okay. so far chuo umesomea Dar es Salaam no chuo sasa nimesomea Uganda ah Uganda, Uganda yeah. mm. kwa nini Uganda mm. sasa sababu lakini sababu yangu ni mm. personal mm. yani kwa maana uh, kwamba sio kwa sababu vio havi papa mm. na mimi ni kwanza wangu kusoma Udism by the way ah. nakumbuka niko high school tunatamani kila chuo sasa Udism yani kila mtu anatamani Udism unajua ile kuna ile chuo kikubwa ambacho mm. kila mtu anatamani kwanza form 6 saka akasomea ah, okay. lakini after that um, nimeenda jeshi nimetoka jeshi nikaa nimetoka na kit fault mm. and i really had that Uganda kuna freedom ya kutosha and i love modeling mm. so i'm like okay it's a right place um, mm. ya yeah, kufanya vitu vyangu Mm. na no one knew me eh, kuna mtu anayejua kule kwa itakuwa rais kufanya vitu vyangu kwa uhuru mm. kuliko ndogo shangazi mjomba akasema yake unajua ile mm. yeah watu wanakufananisha na Ambrose mm. na pengine ndiye mtu ambaye alikuwa inspire zaidi wewe kuingia kwenye model Ambrose amen inspire kichwani tu <laughs> lakini um, watu ambao amen inspiration kwangu mimi mimi i love fashion okay. i love fashion so much and when it, come, when it comes to models ambao wana inspire mm um ndo kama from Tanzania kwanza mm. Ladiva Faviana mm. Mia Modemba mm. na Mkembe nje mm. lakini fashion wise nampenda sana Rihanna mm. so much mm. um yeah ko Ambrose ni kichwani tu mm. when it comes to hairstyle lakini vitu mm. vingine na mm. by the way pia ushake kujiona kama unafanana sana pia na Miriam Modemba watu wananiambia hivyo yeah. bwana nichanganye ma mm. diva ma mm. sio demba yani mm. sasa sijajua nafanana nani ah, okay. but i believe najifanana ah, okay. yeah. okay na hii hii model lianzia uganda kipindi unasoma mm, nimeanza kupenda picha nimeanza kupenda picha muda mrefu sana yani yeah. kiko mdogo mm. napenda picha kisa sikujua kama kupenda picha au kupiga picha ni nini you understand mm. so kila mtu anataka kupiga picha yeah, sure. lakini kuna ile mtu anapiga picha you so photogenic and all that mm. kini kipiga picha shuleni mimi nimesoma boarding school sana yeah, okay kuna kuta ba tu inganambia you so photogenic photogenic mm. means like you look good yani kila picha unachukua mm. ina unapendeza mm. different kutokana na watu wengine ambao mtu anapiga picha lakini ah mbona kawaida <laughs> kwa kiasi kipiga picha mm. people wana comment like you so photogenic photogenic mm. ningakuwa ningakuwa sasa nimemaliza uh, form 6 nikaenda jeshi mtoka jeshi nikaenda chuo eh uh, ndo ni nikajua what is modeling mm. wana mtindo ni nini though watu wengi kwanza mani ningombenyo ngomanyo umis miss Tanzania si miss ni ile sio kitabu cha shauku kipenda sure so inabidi uelewe kwamba umepitia mpaka JKT yani yeah. usikuchukulie poa ujue usikuchukulie poa <laughs> <laughs> una utofauti uh, una utofautisha vipi u modo na u video vixen video vixen and modo um yes pale jina <laughs> so uh, when it comes to a video vixen mm. mimi na mimi nataweza sasa kiamua kwa mfano mm. Rihanna anataka um, Um, kijana kiume kwenye video yake unzo yeah. kingi ukafanya yeah. yani mtu yeyote ambaye anaanza kaa kwenye video mm. either ni msichana mbana anaanza kuingia kwenye videos 
and I send like a vixen I'm video vixen or something lakini when it comes to a model kwa mwana mitindo kuna sifa zake yeah sure ndio unaona miaka inaenda miaka rudi unakuta ba wana mitindo wakubwa wa Tanzania ni wale wale mm wewe ukimwona diva na ukimwona staki niteje majina wanichukulie vibaya lakini ngoja ni mteja rafiki yangu aliza nikasema ukimchukua la diva million au mimi ni modemba au flaviana ukamweka hapa ambaruru ukaweka nai unaona vitu tofauti you understand Sema kwa ubaya. Nasema yeah. tu wani unaona utaona tofauti wa this is a model, this is a vixen. Yeah, sure. Uh, Nai amefanya mm. videos. Yeah. And that's it. Mm. And that's the yani you may share hapo. Mm. Lakini unaona unaona unataka kwa Miriam Mlemba amefanya mm. vitu vingi. Mm. Amefanya matangazo, amefanya runways. Ukimchukua naye afanya runway hawezi kufanya mm. runway. Yeah, sure. Yeah. So being a, being mwana mitindo kuna qualities that being a, you have to be tall. Yeah. Like you, you don't being tall. Tall. Uh na kwa wasichana mara nyingi wanaanzaga ni 5.8, 5.8 and then we have 5.11 uh, up to 6 ndio kama hivi. Kwa kuna qualities. You have to be unique, you have to be creative, you have to be and to stand out as a model. Kwa yeah. sio kila mtu ni mwanamtindo, sio kila mtu ni model. Either being a being a vixen mtu yote anaweza kuwa vixen. It's like nyinyi watangazaji. Mimi huwezi kunipa niweze kutangaza sio kitu changu. Yeah. Kwa hiyo hivyo kwa kila mtu ana ana sehemu yake kila mtu ana passion yake mm. na sio kwamba kuchwa vixen ni dhambi kama mtu ameamua kufanya video mm. let her be a vixen or let him be a vixen mm. lakini mwana mitindo sio kila mtu anza kama mwana mitindo mm. at any when anza kama kuingia kwenye video awe kilema awe kipofu awe mfupi awe bonge any when so i think hiyo ni ni tofauti chache yeah. okay kwanza hongera mwanza mzuri fp muonekano wako na kubeba kwa kiasi kikubwa sana Thank you alhamdulillah. Nasema <laughs> alhamdulillah unasemaje? Alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah. Yeah yeah Thank yeah. Thank you. No, sana. Uh, so far mara ya kwanza kabisa mm-hmm. mimi binafsi nilianza kukuona kwenye video ya Harmonize. Yeah yeah far away pa kwenye na country boy. Pengine kuna video nyingine ambayo uliwahi kushoot hapa nyuma. Nimefanya video nyingi Uganda. Nimefanya video kama 4 5. I mean hii hapa na hii sitakuwa ni ya sita. Ah. Lakini I, I keep saying this every day kwamba Uganda mm. sio watu wa mitandao. Mm, sure. Uganda sio watu ambao um, makiki kiki sio nini nini ni mtu eh. kama hivyo ngoma. Eh. Ni kwa Uganda ngoma imetoka na noa hakuna na mind. Yaani yeah, kiamsha sure. maisha yake. Lakini unaona kabisa mtu amefanya kazi, mna appreciate, mna nini? Yaani mnaonyesha kwamba mm. ya ana mchango katika yeah, katika sure. industry. Kwa kule nimefanya video nimefanya kamili hiyo nimefanya mm. bebe cool. Nimefanya na msanii wa Rwanda Yemedi. Yeah, nimefanya na some Nigerian guy, nimefanya uh, bebe cool na Harry songs and then this one. Kwa hiyo nimefanya fanya sema kwa Tanzania sio wafuatiaji ni sisi wa nyimbo za Uganda. Kwa sababu pia lugha zao mzielewi, tofauti na Swahili ba nenda East Africa and all that. Kwa hiyo nimefanya fanya. Uh, story gani kwenye video ambayo imewekwa kutokea kweli? Ya nini story yako ya kweli? Katika hizo video. Oh. Mm. Um... <laughs> Ambaye <laughs> kutokea um, mm. Of course she come back on to far like in sasa sije kwa kuunganisha kuna mtu ambaye anahisi kwamba ya this this woman or this guy mm. And, and and to and to share oh, that person i think mm. that's hiyo ndo maana kubwa kunipeleka fine mm. she's the one that she ani anampenda hiyo mtu kwa it happens to everyone lakini sije kuunganisha kuunganisha mabwana no kabisa na no, never usumbufu unapata kiasi gani wanaume mm. usumbufu i think ni kwa kila mwanamke mwanamke yote yule anasema usumbufu kuna kuna ile kiwango kwamba eh bana mimi kiwango changu ni kawaida sana hii da itakuwa mie hii No, kaida sana kwa sababu mimi naisi asilimia 90 ya wanaume wananiogopa. Wanaogopa. Yeah, niogopa kwa mantiki ya kwamba either urefu, mm. either niko kaka sana, I'm so serious, kwa mtu anakupa kuna approach. Yeah. Of course wapo ambao wanajika kama mwa wapo lakini sasa sio sio sana. Yaani sio asilimia kwamba nasumbuliwa sana na sinaga ta sio pigget attention mm. mara nyingi sana kwa hiyo inakuwa ni ngumu mtu kuni kuni face ngoni sumbua ya kulikuwa kuna ugumu gani wewe kufanya kazi na harmonize by the way approaching yao ilikuwaaje um uh, mimi those guys nimewajua kwa muda mrefu kidogo yeah. uh, choka 2018 kwa nawajua for the long time lakini pia harmonize mtu ambaye anataka kufanya kazi na mimi sio tu harmonize wasanii mm. wengi Tanzania yeah. wale wametamani kufanya kazi na mimi muda mrefu sana mm. lakini hisi ni issue either ni mazungumzo mtu anashindwa ku kuongea na yeye vizuri yeah. na bei yani mtu anakuwa ana, sio kumwambiaje 
Mimi nakumbuka kuna director mm. my first I did some interview by the way some sago yeah. when you go to Africa. Yeah. Um uh, then akaniuliza how much do you charge for video? Mm. Nikaambia uh, uh, nini uh, 1000 dollars. Mm. Yeah au dola 2000 mm. kwa sababu moja mpaka 2000. Mm. That means 4 million mm. to 2 and all that. Mm. Uh, baada hapo nikatafuta ni director mm. simtaji jina mm. akaniambia hey kuna video ya msanii fulani nini nini nataka tufanye i'm like it's okay um shingapi mm. kaambia na laki mbili <laughs> i'm like mimi sifanyi mm. sifanyi hiyo sifanyi video kwa bei hii hapo kaniambia how much do you charge nikamwambia if you have like 2 million kwa sababu mwenzea laki mbili if yeah. you have like two, at least milioni 2 na nusu mm. you can do it Ha, kuni we nani? <laughs> so I'm like, mimi ni nani? Mimi nimekutafuta au mimi nitafuta? You looked for me. That means kuna kitu ambacho mmekiona ndani yangu. Au yeah, mmekiona ni naza nikafaa kuwa kwenye hiyo video. Kwa you have to appreciate it. Kwa sababu sikupenda yeye alivyoongea na mimi na I'm like, mm. we nani? Anaambia hata models wa South Africa hawachaji hivyo. Wanachaji dola 100. I'm like, mimi sio South Africa. If kama wanachaji dola 100, mimi yeah. sio wao. Mi wina price yangu and you have to respect it. At the end of the day so as many fakers as If you feel like you can't afford me school, tafuta mtu ambaye anaweza kumafford. So uh yeah. Uliche kufanya I mean okay anyways. I'm going to give you a lack eh. Ugumu hakupo ugumu wote ni approach na director Ivan na kanamba there's a video um shingapo nafanya nikamwambia akaongea nao tukakubaliana tukasafiri tukashoot tukamaliza basi. Uh, kwa ugumu kwenye kwenye kuna parts za video labda uh, ambao gele kwa vibe kini ni 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 kuna parts ambazo kama mzazi akiona sio sio nzuri sio mahali ya Kiafrika lakini ni hapo tusipate ugumu wote miongoni mwa skin ambayo ili trend sana ni ile pale mpo kwenye swimming pool then ume vibe kini na nini mm. mix ona binuka hivi mm. na nini ilikuwa na ugumu gani kucheza <laughs> pia <laughs> walipokeaje baadhi ya watu wako karibu ikiwemo mm. wazazi pia Oh, Azazi mimi hajaona hiyo video. Na naomba usijione. <laughs> Yeye yeah, naomba usijione. Eh. Dho ameshaanza kuonyesha kwa mimi niuliza lakini Nessa hajaiona bado. Um issue watu wakoelewa the way ni I've gone uh, nani na Misha. Mm. Ni kwamba the guy is short. Mwanaume ni mfupi. Mimi yeah. ni mrefu. Kwa hiyo sasa anjaribu ku, ku twe same height. Yaani anataka mm. to balance. Sasa alivyoina na Misha tu mm. like three times I think yes. Yeah. Ke anambia ina ukifika basi hapa uniame nikamwambia po. Kwa hiyo nikifika najisahau. Kwa kamani inawa bwana. Akuinamisha mwenyewe sasa. Yeah, kwa um hivyo ni, ni ni ufupi na urefu ndio maana si ni kama vile. Lakini vya bikini hakuna mzazi yote ambaye anza karusu mwana mwana ya vivi tu kama vile. Lakini sasa kwa sababu ni kazi na tunapenda tuna risk tunafanya. Okay, na pengine wameshai kusikia baada kuna video umeifanya hivi na hivi na wanajua wanajua at first mango mango ndo in mind naanza anza niko chuo kwa sababu wanasema tu tumekupeka Uganda usome na tumesikia umeweza ku chuko kauchi unafanya <laughs> videos and all that nikakana nikamwambia no so mimi nikaanza tumia picha za ambaro so that hiyo ndo kwa ni tawala ambaro 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 Uganda nikamwambia no ananifananisha nikamtumia picha ambaro wewe wewe ni wewe <laughs> Huyu ni yeye ni kama mama sio mimi. Huyu ni wewe. Mbona kama sasa kaja kuna kuna tatua kusema hakwe sio yeye. Kwa hiyo kaamini kama sio mimi. Sasa kuna wale ndugu fulani ambao hawapendi maendeleo ya. Wanachukua wanabisa wapekee YouTube. Hii hapa video kafanya kweli. Mama in mind ni pala ana zote. Ai sistema nini nini nini. Nikamba msamaha nikamba nimeacha. Akajua nimeacha kaja kuna nyingine. Hivyo unataka uniue. Akaongea all that lakini nafikia tu unajua mzazi anaelewa kwamba mwanangu anapenda yeah. kitu ngo tu ni muache fani kwao nikaanza kumuonga nikifanya video na muonga pesa na mpaya mama ni kutumia hii ya milioni mbili au nini yeah. i relax ana sawa kama mtu kavaa uchi kule kwao una wana support yani uh, at this time this time wana support yeah. ha, hawana jeans kwa kweli mm. mm. and skin yako iko poa kabisa ujifikiria kutoka hata tu mimi ni msimu kana napenda tatu zamani mm. lakini the more naziko kuwa naona kama ni vitu vya kitoto Sijui kwa nini. Si judge mtu anayefanya, do it lakini kwangu mimi ninavoziko kuwa naona kama tattoo is not something ambacho nitatamani kiopo maisha maisha yangu yote. So uh, I wish kama labda kuna zizi ambazo stickers au za short time maybe. Lakini still naona kama haina umuhimu. I don't think yeah. Okay. Uh, how much is it clip again? Nataka ujue. Sasa misogo na pesa. Mashabiki wanataka. Sasa misogo na kupa shingapi? Mimi. Eh. 
by the way ni ni privacy no? unaona sasa ni privacy <laughs> like <laughs> wewe we tayari kuna watu ambao wanakutazama kwa kukubwa sana wanatamani wafahamu yani kuna mtu ambaye eh, eh. kitu ambacho anatakiwa ujue kwamba asifanye kazi chini ya milioni mbili chini mm. ya milioni mbili sishuki mm. kwa ina maana kwanza milioni mbili milioni mbili na nusu milioni tatu milioni kumi yani wewe tunipe mm. kwa sifanye chini kwa sababu nilivyo sema milioni 4 watu wasema nikasema okay mm. so chini ya milioni mbili sifanye na inanisaidia ku, ku, kujizuia kufanya kazi na watu wengi sana mm. na inanisaidia mimi kwamba nikipata hela nifanye kitu gani kwa sababu nikisema naweza kufanya video if she ni she ni nitafanya video ngapi hii nifikishe malengo yangu kama ni kununua kiwanja nitanunua F20 kilipo kila siku video nitanunua kiwanja baada ya muda gani miaka 7 kwa hiyo you always have to set a goal nataka kitu fair mwaka huu nataka nifanye hivi na hivi na hivi na maana kama nitaprochea nikapata baba milioni zangu 4 5 kwenye video nitanunua kitu fulani au nitafanya kitu fulani kila mtu ana malengo yake kwa hiyo nikisema sifanye kazi chini ya hiyo price sio kama najisikia au mimi ni special anyway naweza kama special pia usijua lakini you have to respect the person ambaye amekuambia kwamba sifanye kazi chini ya price hapa na mimi nikisema kazi sifanye kazi chini ya kwa mfano milioni 4 haimaanishi kwamba sasa ukiwa na milioni 3 na nasema na laki 8 tusifanye no Tuweza tukafanya unajua mm. eh ni biashara mazungumzo makubaliano yeah so yeah